Hello and welcome to another Zendika Rising Draft here on Limited Intelligence. Let's rip and open our first pack and see what we get. So we get the null piece of oblivion. That's a really good first pick. Unfortunately, uh, yeah, our opponent, uh, our, the guy, uh, person next to us will probably jump into black as well, but there's no way I'm not taking the null priest pre here, so that's definitely gonna be my first pick. I really like the Merfolk Falcon here as well. And of course, Vanquish the Weak is really good as well, but yeah, null priest is just the best card in the pack here. Ah, okay. So we can either stick to black with Vanquish the Weak, which I qu quite like. Um, or we can take a Royal Eruption. Because obviously I think that's the best card in this pack. But it's not much better than Vanquish the Weak. So I probably just want to stick to one color here. Yeah, I think that's the, that's the play here. As I said, I think Roller Option is a little bit better than Vanquish the Week, but in this case, I'd rather just stick with the color that I have because I want to play the Null Priest. Okay, third pick. We get the Undo Inversion. Yeah, nothing decent in black here. The second best card would probably be the Veteran Adventurer. But I think I'll just take the Undo Inversion here. Yeah, I don't I don't like the Canyon Jabot at all, to be honest. I think it's horrible. When I first looked at it, I thought it would be a good red card for this set, but it's actually terrible most of the time. So that's not really on my radar. It's either Veteran Adventure or Undo Inversion. And yeah, I think I'd rather have the Undo Inversion here. Okay, then we get a Kabira takedown, which I would say is probably the best card in the pack. Also really like Stonework Pack Beast, but yeah, I don't really want to take it this early yet as I'm not really sure if I want to even go into a specific creature type or party uh, for that matter. So I think I'll just take the, the Kabira takedown. We have two spell lands in, uh, in white, so it could be something. Oh, yeah, this pack. Yeah, I think the Muraza Sproutling is by far the best card in the pack. I really like Blood Beckoning, but I'm not really willing to sacrifice a creature as good as Muraza Sproutling this early into the draft, as I'm not really sure which colors I'll be playing yet. Um, I like the Expedition Diviner. I kind of like Cinderclasm, but it's Probably not as good as I like it uh, as I'd like it to be. I'm not a huge fan of Pyroclastic Hellion. Uh, I'm not with with LSB on that one. Uh, I gotta say, um, I probably just take the Nullet Colony here rather than going into a third color. Yeah, I think the upside of taking the diviner here is not really high as I'm, I'm not in the colors for playing wizards at all so i'd probably rather just have the Nala colony here and stay a little bit more open it works quite well with the sproutling as well so we'll see okay here i think it's just a clear call celebrant um i like mind rain as well the bug catcher is really good and thunderstorm is also fine but if i do manage to break open the the clerics it's called celebrants just the core creature no pun intended <laughs> that uh, that you really need so i think that's that's the pick here um here it's either the stomp or the blood prize perhaps the mesa links but mm, I, I think skeleton heights is pretty bad don't really ever want to play that Seagate Colossus can be fine, but I probably don't really want it at this point. Uh, actually, I think I'll just go with the Blood Price here. With the Call Celebrant, it's not too bad. Hmm, I can take the Reclaim the Waste. That will give me the fixing for... If I have to play three colored for some reason, I think it's probably the best choice here. Uh, again, I don't like any of these cards at all. 
I'll take the shadow cat in case I end up in the, those colors. I don't think there's a very high chance of me going kicker at this point, even though the cards I do have would really fit well into the deck, but yeah, I'll take the shadow cat here. Stomper here, Oblivion Tonka could be fine, um, but yeah, I don't really want it at this point. I definitely don't want a second blood prize, I'll just pick, take the Lego here, because you're not really playable. Happily take the Blight Blade, that's fine. Okay, so we get a Soul Shatter, which is really good removal. I also really like the Exquisitions Expert, also a really good card, I think, just because it gives you card advantage. But I'm not gonna pass Soul Shatter, which is really good remo removal. So I'll take this here, and it looks like we are ending up in, uh, in the green, uh, green black at this point. So I think the best card in the pack is actually the Colony Ambush, and it's in the colors that we're most likely to play. Uh, notable mentions are the Gloom Hunter. Relic Vile would be really great for the Cleric deck, obviously, but I think that's a bit far off at this point. I think it's far more likely that we're going to end up in black-green, so our first few white picks were for naught, but it's okay. Wow, okay. <laughs> that being said, we get a, Le a Legion Angel. So, yeah, I want the Legion Angel here, I think. So, my... White might, may not be off the table at this point, so I'll probably get a lot of white in this pack. Okay, <laughs> yeah, with the Nahiri's Binding and nothing really in the other colors that we really need. I think white is way open again. Attended Healer is pretty much broken if you can get it, uh, get it out with a. Call Celebrant, so okay, maybe maybe we are in clerics after all. Um, yeah, a bit of a bit of a weird draft so far because we have three colors but we have really really strong cards. Um, so let's see what we actually end up with. Okay, I really don't like the Demon's Disciple, Farsight Adept, and Uraga Visionary are probably the best cards in the pack. Though I'd probably say Uraga Visionary is a little bit better. Um, hmm, tough choice, yeah. I probably want to play white more than um, than green, so I think I'll go for the white card here, and though I think the, the uh, visionary is actually a little bit better than the far side adept, but I think I'd rather play white here than, uh, than green. So let's see. Okay, so here I think it's a choice between Ghastly Gloom Hunter and Zoff Consumption. Both cards I like quite a bit. Though, I think the Gloom Hunter, I'll probably pick up Gloom Hunter later. I'll just take Zoff Consumption here. Yeah, in this pack, I think it's a pretty clear practice tactics. Um, I think we have diverse creature uh, types enough that uh, that's fine. Uh, take the Seagate Banneret here, playable. Don't necessarily want to play it, but it's probably better than anything else. Mm. Yeah, I'll take the Glacial Grasp. I think all these cards are pretty bad, to be honest. None of them are in our colors. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is an easy, easy Angel Art Protector. I think it's by far the best card in the pack. Um, yeah. I'll take Cliffhaven Cell Sword, not the best card, but certainly fine. And now it looks like, yeah, um, white is actually the color we have most of, so probably gonna play uh, white, black, or we could take Gregmaw and go back in that direction. Could also take another call celebrant. Though I don't really have any life game payoff yet except for the um, attended healer. <sighs> Tough choice. Gregmore is pretty pretty good, but 
I don't really have any counter payoffs yet. So I think I'll actually just go with a cost celebrant here. I don't have any, I don't have any rogues. I don't, I have one rogue so far, but it's in green. I'll take, I'll take this shadow stinger. Yeah, snap decision. Ah, oh, good choice. Got the cost celebrant now. Anyway, could also take the scythe cat, but yeah, um, I think green is not really strong and. Wow, <laughs> then we get a, a bunch of stuff that we want, okay. The HV one is fine, but to be honest, it's probably not what we're gonna end up with. Rabbit Bite would also be great for the, um, for the counter deck. Uh, maybe it's just a Prowling Felidae actually, because I don't really have that much Cleric payoff, not that much life gain payoff. I have five clerics so far. I really like the, the Blood Priest here as well, but I think I need a bit more. Oh, actually, I need more two drops, so I'll take the Blood Priest here. Um, I don't have a Blood Beckoning yet, so I might actually take that over another Angel Heart Protector. Should probably clean up my my green cards here because I don't think I'll be playing green. Not much chance here at all. So looking at that, we have a decent amount of three drops, but I think the blood beckoning kind of is the best card here. Uh, we're a bit short on creatures. Perhaps I'd rather have another creature here actually. Finally, a life gain payoff. This is really what we need. A few more of the, those would be amazing. Deadly Lions this late is a very clear choice. That makes me very, very happy. So I'd really like some more of those um, Marauding Blight Priests, but I think the likelihood of us getting them not very high. Um, I don't really want to drown a Silencer, but I don't, don't think there's any chance of me playing green. Hmm. Tough choice. I'll take the rabbit bite anyway. I really hate that, that stupid uh, rogue. Perhaps I'll play three colored, which we shall see. I do have a little bit of fixing, so I'll take this on the off chance that I actually want to do that. Skitter Sneak is a fine card. I probably won't, not, not very high on it, but uh, I need more playable creatures. I'm only at 15. So I think we'll go with that here. Okay, now I will take the Drowner Silencer as little as I like it. I don't... Oh, and we will cost a little bit. Okay, that's pretty amazing. It's just too bad we don't have that much life gain payoff. Only two creatures that actually gain things from... Uh, like give us something from life gain. I mean, it makes our blood prize pretty playable. Um, because of, of all the life gain, we won't really care if we, we pay... Um, Pay two life to refill a hand. Wow, well, green was so open. Maybe I should have been <laughs> green after all. That was a really tough draft. Me, I wasn't really sure which way I wanted to lean here. Yeah, I think. I probably want to get rid of the shadow cat. It's not. Not gonna do much for me. We have six in creatures, it's still enough, so yeah. Let's see where we end up here. Survivor, wow. And we get the worst one of the worst cards in the I said last, but that doesn't matter. So let's see what we end up with. Okay, so we don't really wanna cut any more creatures. Um, we can, however, at least cut one planes because we have. Um, to do a uh, spell lands and um, I want to cut one one spell here so hmm, pretty difficult what to do here. so we have let's check out our removal first soul shatter vanquish the weak deadly alliance he is binding yeah, I'll probably get rid of the practice tactics here because we have so much removal um, with a Kabira takedown as well. 
Oh, I could just cut the drawn aside and so uh, looking at our creature types, we have wizards, one wizard, three rogues, three warriors, and a bunch of clerics. <sighs> probably the Drana Silence I won't do much. I probably just have another removal spell. I'd rather have another removal spell and play a few less creatures. I think this is right. So I'll go with this. And with this huge amount of removal, we should hopefully be able to do fine. Okay, this is a pretty decent starting hand. Um, I'll definitely start off with the Undoon version as a land here. Um, I'd rather keep the soft consumption up. And play the Bell Priest, unkicked. That's a nice thing about these kicker cards. If you get him well, you can just jam him. If not, so be it. Okay, we have a bunch of removal here. Um, I'll just attack first. And play my Call Celebrant. Get a life gain going. Uh, obviously, we don't really have much payoff for it, but I hope we'll still be fine. Okay, that's one of the payoffs we have, so... It's pretty good. They can attack here. Yeah, I'll use the Soul Shatter here because it, it hits the creature I wanted to hit. Then I can attack with the Blood Priest without being afraid. I really need to draw on some more creatures. I also wouldn't mind the Blood Price here, actually. It'd be a really good pick, a uh, really good draw. I think the pair tactician is fine. Target here. Because I can always hit the bug catcher with the practice tactics. Turn down my audio here a little bit. So I can drop them down to one with soft consumption, but I probably just want to save it until next turn. Okay. Angel Up Protector seems good here. Kind of forcing the block at this point. I think at this point I will actually use my practice tactics.
yeah, that just blows them open very far for next turn. And if one of my creatures gets through, uh, I just win. Yeah. Okay, that was a pretty good first game. Now this is a bit of a sad hand. <laughs> do I want to risk it? I kind of do because it's pretty good if I just draw one black land. I'm pretty happy. Now I'm even more happy if I draw. Yeah, if I just draw one black land or even even a white land is kind of fine here. Okay, now I just need any land. I'm happy with any land now. <laughs> but black land would be preferred. Come on, deck. Just give me a black land and it's all I need. I don't need any more lands after that, probably. <laughs> don't think I actually have anything more expensive in my deck here. Okay, well, just have to Nahiri's binding that. It's pretty awkward with the Soul Shatter in hand because it'll probably be a dead card from here on out, but I don't really want to wait. Wow, oh, okay. Well, at least we got our black land here. I don't know if there are even any six cost cards in like this set. I probably should have not uh, not put the, I don't know, the binding on that. That was probably a mistake to put the binding on the Shepherd of Fears. I should have just taken the damage a few, few turns. Okay, so first of all, I want to attack with these two. Then I'll drop the Blight Priest. And then next turn, if I can drop the healer, I'm already doing quite a bunch, quite a lot of damage to them every turn. I'm, I think I just want a blood prize here. Get in my second black mana going. Oh, that was a bit dumb. <laughs> yeah, uh, I forgot that. Of course, I could just block like that. So unfortunately their cleric will grow too much here. Um, 
But I want to take this trade anyway. Yeah, this game is kind of running away from us here, but... Perhaps it's still alright. I think I want to get back my... Actually, I want to get my, back my Marauding Light Priest because I have more Core Celebrants. It's probably the greedy play, but I need a greedy play to win from here on out. I'm in a pretty bad position because uh, I, I just killed my own card with Soul Shatter. Okay, well, at least Soul Shatter isn't worthless anymore now. So I can Soul Shatter there, Xigate Colossus. Which I can't attack. game. I misplayed quite a bit here, so I think that, that kind of is my own fault that, I, that I'm losing at the moment, but I can still come back, so not all hope is lost yet. Okay, looking worse and worse. Blood Beckoning is a card that I really regret not picking up now. Okay, so... I wanna play the Legion Angel here for sure. I'll just pass the turn for now. Okay. It's pretty bad. If they have a way to protect the glue mounts, I think the game's over. Okay, well it just comes back as a 1-1, one, one, so it's not that bad. So I have five creatures out. Get the sneak. Gives me six creatures out. And yeah, I'll just pass the turn for now. Missing one creature to kill the cleric, unfortunately. Okay, so do I just want to shoot this Corsella run now? Probably won't do me much good to be honest, so no. Oh, this game's not looking good at all. 
Yeah, I would have had the Nairis binding to put on the cleric. Things would look much better for me. Okay, well, now we're talking. And now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight creatures out, so that's exactly enough to kill the cleric of life spawned here. Whew! Not gonna risk waiting for it to get bigger. No chance. Okay, so maybe we can still recover from here. Maybe we can still do it. We top deck another call celebrant. That would be amazing. I think I'll just pass the turn for now. <laughs> I actually cast Deadly Alliance for one. Full party going on. Okay. I think... The one one's actually probably not gonna kill me here. I'll just kill the Gloom Hunter because that's slowly going to kill me otherwise. Fortunately, that's not what we wanted at all. Any creatures? Fine here. Let's look at our odds. Can we actually top deck here? That would be great. Yeah, I think I'll just give them the 1 1 for it. Ugh, come on, stop flooding me out. <laughs> yeah, I'm missing one more card in the graveyard and this would have menace that would make it a little bit better, but to be honest, it probably wouldn't make too much of a difference.
Yeah, I think that's GG now. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that's the way we're going back from this now. They're 40 life. And, oh no. No, no, no. I don't think this. Yeah, this is just just game, I think. I don't I mean I wouldn't mind my ondo inversion here, but we just flooding out. I mean come on, don't flood me out like this deck. At least that was the last um <laughs> the last planes we had in our deck. Yeah, I'll just double block here. Whatever. Gosh, I can't give, uh, couldn't give any of those life link. Come on, this is stupid. Just ah, oh, come on. It was four turns in a row. I do land, so that wasn't yeah. Well, that wasn't very nice of you, deck. That made me really salty. Yeah, it's a decent hand. I'm gonna use, gotta use both my. Hey, you know what? I only have one creature in hand. Nah, I'm not keeping that. So. I think I dropped the practice tactics here. Okay, well. <laughs> um, yeah, I know what I'm gonna use my Vanquish the Week on already. <laughs> God, Ruin Crab, first turn is so annoying. I mean, if they mill something good and we get later into the game. It's fine. Uh, because we can get it back with the Blood Priest, perhaps. Uh, whatever it's called. Uh, Null Priest of Oblivion, that's the card I meant. But... Okay, well, we have the Legion Angel in the. in the bin here, so just vanquish the crab here. No, they milled on all priests, it's one card I didn't want them to mill. Yeah, oh, I'll just attack, I don't care if they trade. Well, that's an on version I'm never going to cast. Um, yeah, I'll just keep the pressure up as long as they can't. We don't have another land drop, but the squid is... I don't care about the squid. So I think I'll just slow down here. And I can always use the Soul Shatter on their turn, but I don't really don't want to use it on the Sky Dancer. The Sky Dancer is a slight 
annoyance more than anything else. Okay, well at least they milled away some lands that we don't really want. Uh, I'll kill the Skulker here because that can attack. N oh, come on. Yeah, I'm just getting owned here now. Just have the answer for everything. <sighs> but, I mean, they're really helping us with their mills, the amount of lands that they've milled for us here. Uh, I'll use the Soul Shatter now because I can't afford to take another hit next turn. Yeah, we just have to use our good cards for bad creatures, which is really sad. Okay, but now we're ahead on board. And uh, definitely gonna... And I'm not gonna attack here. Yeah, now hearing is binding is good on the sky diver. Can't let afford to let it attack me. And I'll just have to bite the bullet uh, if they attack with a skulker, which they do not. Yeah, so I'll get the call set up run down and hope that we can get our start rebuilding our life total now slowly. Um Yeah, I have to trade one of these for one of those anyway so I might as well do it now they don't actually want to trade okay fortunately the stinger is really bad and because we have so few um, so few rogues looking at our deck we only have one other rogue that can turn it on but yeah this, this draft didn't really work out too well uh, we kind of got pulled all over the place maybe we should have just stuck to um, green it probably would have been been the better choice, but black and white were also so open, so uh, <laughs> kind of got a bit pulled in all directions there, but oh well, it happens. Okay, so yeah, I'll t attack again with the uh, this time with both because I don't mind trading them at this point. I think I got a be a little bit offensive here. They don't have enough cards in their graveyard yet. But I think I'd rather have this because it just stops their entire board completely. And if our Shadow Stinger manages to get through once we we turn on our Skitter Sneak. So we might actually be able to turn this around now with the Pure might of the core celebrant. Okay. Same game as last round. I'll attack with both my Angela protectors here. Offer them. Okay, I didn't want to attack with them him anyway. <laughs> but sure, go ahead. And they have to stop blocking now, basically, they can't really afford to go to one. They'd go to one, okay. So that was really dangerous. 
I need to play a creature or kill one of my untapped creatures now, otherwise they will lose next turn. Okay, woo, nice. Yeah, I think I'm barely keeping this. I really don't want a mulligan again. I hate mulligan, especially in draft, and if we draw any land, we're fine. And as we're on the, on the draw and not on the, on the play, I think it's okay. There we go. Go with the call celebrant here first. Get my life gain machine going. Next turn I can actually double spell with another call celebrant and the Seagate Banneret, so I think that's what I'll be doing there. Nice. Probably just throw a binding on that next turn. Ah, <sighs> so what do I want to do here? I just want to keep building my board. Uh, the next turn I can double spell, so I think I'll blood price now. Wow, that's a tough one. Well, I definitely want a tended healer. I don't have anything in my graveyard yet, so I'll take the soul shatter. I think, yeah, I have enough cheap creatures I can play. So I think I need to really need to stop the damage I'm taking. So I'll just put the binding on the Gloom Hunter and wait for their turn. See if they play a bigger threat than the three three far side adept. And they're not going to with the mana that they have left. So. Emiria's call, nice. Just go really wide with the uh, tended healer. Pull up with the far side adept. And then I want to attack and I should hopefully be able to take them out pretty efficiently with the Marauding Blight Priest. Oh, that's really nice as well. Phew. Hmm. I could 
got attack here. But there's not really much upside, so I think I'll just drop the mana. And pass the turn. They have a full party. God. Well, that's just fantastic. Okay, so definitely pass the blockers here. Block like this. Are they? No, but they don't have enough mana for this using the Seagate Banneret, so that's fine. This. 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 And then I will use this. On here. Attacking, there's nothing it makes sense to attack with, so we just pass here. But they with their full party, that's really gonna screw us over. We need some some removal. like this like this I can also block like this then with this one perform everything survives the block for me yeah but I really need removal that squad commander otherwise there's no way I'm coming back from in this game I mean, we gain so much life. <laughs> it's not not really that much of an issue that they are attacking us here, but um, they have an easy block on them. Yeah, I'm, I need to kill the squad commander. There's no way I'm coming back if I don't kill the squad commander. So I'm gonna block like this, like this, like this, this. Oh, I need to double block the damn skid sneak, so. I guess I'm not blocking the skid sneak. Oh, they also, uh, well, I forgot about that, but yeah, I think it's, 
pretty much over for me. Yeah, I'm almost dead anyway, so it doesn't really matter. No. Yeah, but that's GG. I messed that up, but uh, there was no way I'm coming back. Like, we get the squad commander down and I have no way to remove it, I'm screwed. Squad commander with full party is what I meant, of course. Okay, let's see if this is then that can squeeze us out one more victory. I surely hope so. I sure hope so. Um, yeah, this deck isn't, isn't the greatest. Definitely not the, one of the better decks that I've drafted so far, but I think it's still okay. I think the card quality overall is pretty pretty good. It's just the, um, the synergies are a bit lacking. But if we draw one more white mana, we get this uh, Legion Angel down, which hopefully it doesn't get right erupted right away um, and then we can stop putting some work to our opponent I know we were asking for a white mana not black mana I'll just fast out adapt here. Probably want to Soul Shatter that GOP'd, but I always like to wait a little bit with Soul Shatter because you can always hit something better. probably thinking which creature they want to remove here because I definitely will block the GOP with the fast side adept okay that's a fine trade for me GOP is a much better creature than the fast side adept Okay, let's go with the Cell Sword and the Blood Priest. This looks like the Triforce symbol from Zelda that the Cross Elephant has. Okay, well. It's a one damage swing. Yeah, whatever, don't care. And then next turn I might actually just blood prize and try to get my second white mana if I do not top deck it. Yeah, I think I'll still blood prize here actually. Pretty still, uh, pretty even board state. I think it's a good time to do it. Two lives doesn't bother me. Um, I don't want black mana. I probably would prefer, yeah. I want the Nahiri's Binding and let's get the Sneak. And I'll just play this as a land. It's fine. Prone has like zero action, it looks like. They're not even attacking with the TW Gambit, which they should really be doing because they can pump it and I can't really afford to block it. Okay, so... Oh, 
I want to send in my blood priest. Oh, no, I probably want to keep it back for blocking. So I'll just play the blood priest here. Actually, I played a Legion Angel here. It's one, one damage less. I can. I get off the Black Priest, but that's absolutely fine. If they have removal, I'd probably rather than put it on the Legion Angel than on my Black Priest or my Core Celebrant at this point. If I draw one more mana, I can double spell next turn. me they don't attack okay well in that case I'll just cast my Blood Priest. And yeah, I think I'll just pass the turn. I do want a soul shot at a GOP, but I'm not in a rush to do it. I can still do it on their turn. Yeah, if they want to pump it to hit me heavily, I don't really care too much. It's fine for me. Yeah, this way I'll just use my soul shatter now. Get rid of the GOP. Take five damage, it's not, not much of a problem. Okay, so if I put the rogue down, I can still cast the deadly alliance, so I think that's actually the play here. I'm happy to trade my blood priest for any of their creatures. Yeah, I think I'm in a pretty comfortable position now that with all the removal I have in hand. So I have to pump it twice, cost some six mana. I'll just block with the Shadow Stinger and watch them pump it. And if they pump it enough, I will. Um... I'll kill it. Okay, um, is there any way Yeah, 
yeah, I probably want to use my Angel Heart Protector on my Marauding Light Priest. And going by the the lack of pauses, I think I could actually attack with everything, but I'll just keep um, my yeah my uh, call settlement back here, and that should yeah that's enough to activate our Nimana Skitter Stick. So that is a pretty strong creature now. Uh, playing cleansing wildfire is not where you want to be at to be honest but Stop the play a big bad creature now. <laughs> I'm just like he was binding it. <laughs> that would probably lead to an instant concede. Okay, well, that's not gonna help you any, is it? So I could just binding the Null Priest and I probably just win from there, but uh, it's not 100% lethal, so I will just go for the safe play here. I'll attack with these two. I don't mind trading the Null Priest for the Angela Protector at this point. I think that's fine. I could probably also attack with the call settlement, run, but I don't really don't want to risk it. Yeah, that's that's why I didn't want to risk it. It's the creature I was afraid of. I'm not sure why they don't just block with the uh, with the null priest. <laughs> I would I would have thought that would be a better creature to block with than the flyer. Because it's just more versatile. Okay, well that's that's game I think here. Yeah. Oh they can roll erupt something. Okay, maybe not quite game yet. Kill my blight priest. Oh they can kick it actually, okay, sure. Of course I can kick it, I have infinite mana. <laughs> Okay, well, I can just kick my own. Um... What do we want to have back? Um... Yeah, probably Legion Angel. Just attack with these two. I really love that null priest. <laughs> there you don't really don't want to lose that creature. <laughs> it's funny. I don't know why why they're doing it like that. I, I would have blocked by now. Like, obviously, they're not gonna win by blocking, but uh, I'll just attack with a legion angel and um, with these three here. Make them have something. lose unless they have a board wipe here which they can't yeah okay we've got them three wins in nice okay we have pretty decent starting hand again mana's fine so definitely gonna keep it 
start with the soft consumption. Get our red, uh, our black mana down. Some damage here, but ooh, our opponent's stuck on land, so that's really good news for us here. Um, I think no, nah, actually, no, nah, I'll play my Shadow Stinger here. It's hardest to move. <laughs> Did I have an anti collision? Okay, thinking what just some something they can still play. Oh, that fixes our mana issues. Sorry, I had to. My printer was acting up. <laughs> um, yeah, I think in that case, I actually just want to put the banneret out and soul shatter them to keep them stuck on mana further. It's not really a target I would really love to. I really love to soul shatter, but um, as they are stuck on lands the way it's looking right now i think it's the right move to do because it, it keeps him stuck on three lands further obviously quite mean but that's the way i am <laughs> and the next turn we can uh I'll, I'll try not to drop the far sided depth as well because again that would help them with their mono issues okay <laughs> i can use their rapid bite on my one drop I don't care, I can do that all day long. Uh, yeah, so let's drop the Angel Art Protector, make a Shadow Stinger immune, and yeah, roll them for three. See if they want to attack here, they don't, so... I want to use my Kibiro takedown now, I think it's the right time. Um, yeah, I probably might as well use it on the Nazi Colony. So... Blood price here. Definitely want to skip the sneak. I probably don't want the undo inversion, to be honest. I don't need two black mana for, except for soft consumption. That's not really a consideration here. So I'll probably just grab it, grab the soul sword. Okay, they don't even want to block. <laughs> Mill the lands, very nice. Okay, as long as they want to... Again, yes, that's nice. It's exactly what we want to see. Mil all the lands, yes. 
And let's get the snakes a really good creature now with 4-4 four, four menace for 4. It's an amazing payoff. Good thing we got the Shadow Stinger uh, to get through a few times. I I'm not sure why they don't try to block with the Blight Blade. It would be an amazing trade. Obviously, I have practice tactics, but they don't know that. And we could actually get a full party next turn. And it looks like they're still in good down. Uh, their land that they need. I'll just suicide into Cliffhaven Cell Sword next turn and going with the Skitter Sneak as well. If they try to double block, I'll uh, obviously kill the Blight Blade. I think it's still a pretty good turn for me. Ah, they finally got something that resembles a land. Okay, so... I'll just attack with these here. In that case, I'll kill the Blight Blade because that can always kill something else. Okay, they can enter the roll out, that doesn't matter. Replay it. So if I lose from here, <laughs> I'll be really sad. Okay, so I'll play the fast at a depth pre combat. Purely for the reason I might have something that I can deal with the Bailoth here. Okay, don't get anything. Just take with these two. Happily trade the Angela Protector for the Bailoth. Oh, okay, then I'll get the And the Teela down. Unfortunately, no life gaining so far, but I do have three Call Celebrants in my deck, so here's hoping I manage to draw one. Okay, so I can actually kick it now. So I'll just attack with all those that threaten to kill the Baylos. <clears throat> See how they decide to block. That's pretty good. Yeah, because with the Just do it like this. It doesn't matter. And then with the Null Priest, I'll get back my. Let's get the sneak. And now we should have a commanding position. Nice. Okay, so if I attack with these two, they can attack, they can block four damage, and then the rest is lethal. Is there anywhere this is not lethal? Like, they can't block one of these two, and if everything goes through, yeah, I think this is lethal, I'm not. How's it, how did I always say? Uh, math is for defenders. Yeah, it's lethal. Okay, we managed to close up four wins with this deck. I'm really happy, really, really happy to see if we can get even more going. Okay, not the greatest hand, but we have two ways to get more cards. So I think we should be fine. Anyway, I'm not complaining. We got four wins in with this deck. So I'm really, really happy camper right now. So some people may consider actually playing the Adept before the Blood Priest, but I think getting the Blood Priest down is much more valuable than in the one uh, Life Swing. Okay. 
Okay, here I definitely want to play the Core Celebrant first, so I can get more life off the far side adept. And obviously it locks everything perfectly without an issue, so... They're not exactly in the warrior color, so I don't think this Patrician wow, <laughs> will be too much of an issue. Um, okay. Um, do I want a blood prize here? I mean, they're not really threatening any attacks, so I think I'd just rather dig for something more valuable. Okay, I want the... And I think I prefer the skid to sneak over the shadow stinger. Yeah. Maybe a little bit greedy to cast them, but I think in the current board state, we're not... Obviously, they can attack us, and we can't really attack back, but... It's okay. Okay, in this case we can actually double spell. So I'll do it like this. Get our party going. And if we cast the Legion Angel next turn and they don't kill any of our creatures, we can actually Still cast Deadly Alliance, so that's pretty cool. Get it back a 3-3 by killing the Skyclave Apparition. Don't mind if I do. Yeah, I'm not blocking that, obviously. So, or maybe I want to play the Skitter Sneak. Yeah, I think this gets sneaks better here. And then I actually will attack with my far side adept. And yeah, I'll hold up my deadly lines here. Okay, I'll let them target my skip to sneak first. And then I'll kill their Skyclave apparition. To get a blocker. Happily trade a, a useless token for a 4-3. So... Yeah, I'll just replay the skits of sneak here. I think there's no need to rush. I can kill their entire board with Kabira takedown at this point. Okay, well, in that case, I'll kill their Alt Rider in response. That leaves him with pretty much no attacks again. Okay, I can actually almost cast on the inversion here. Um, but I'll go with the Angel of Protector first. And then I'll just play the Skid to Sneak again, give them no new information.
Shit. <laughs> He's binding as well. It's fine. So this may actually be a good point to use the undo inversion because I have a really strong creature in hand. And um Yeah, but I think Yeah, I'll attack like this first before I do anything else. Okay, and then I'll binding the diviner. Okay, do I want to into the royalet or something? <laughs> They're on diviner. I mean, how many into the royals do? You <laughs> I mean, we get only had two, but getting into the royals is like so cruel. If you if you're in blue, such as one of the stronger cards. Okay, they have the falcon here. We don't have something to get get things back from the grave. I just all out attack and undo inversion. I think. But. I'll just offer them the trade. Okay. They don't want to take it. Okay, well now I clearly have to undo inversion. Bad, I get a card out of it, but I can't. There's no nothing else I can do here. That soft consumption would be absolutely amazing here. Nope, no such luck. Oh well, we finished four to three. I think that's absolutely fine with this deck. I hope you enjoyed this draft. Um, and if you did, please leave me a like, and I'll do drafts more often on this channel. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe so you can uh, see future videos. And I'll yeah, see you in those future videos. Until then.